Okay, take your hat off. <coughs> I've got a surprise for you. Now close your eyes. Oh, for fuck. No, close your eyes. Okie dokie. Close your eyes. What? It was a kiss goodbye before I leave for you. <laughs> Did you actually just kiss my forehead? Oh, we- yeah, I was like, that felt like fingers. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's okay. Was that your surprise? Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> that was great. No, I've got a surprise, but the surprise is, um, well, look, I was going to get it for you, but then I thought, fuck, there's actually probably someone better to give this to surprise to. So I've got a book uh, and it's called How to Live with a Huge Penis. And I thought, and then I thought, I've no, this. I've no, this. you don't. I'm struggling. Willie does. C- well, come hold, sit well, next to me, Willie. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. I, I, should, I also probably need some of this come, book. No. no, you don't. Right. Now, read. <laughs> read Fuck us you a looking, pa- Jack Cunt. Read us How a passage. How to live with a huge penis. Advice, meditations and wisdom for men who have too much. Yeah. I'm feeling it. How do you meditate with a huge dong? Is it any different? Well, you'll find out I from need the to, book. I need to learn. <laughs> you'll find out. I just thought I'm heading away. A kiss on the forehead for you, Jack. Thank you. And a lovely book for Willie. How to live with a huge cock for yeah. Willie. That's why we call him Big Willie. what I find out. Clap for Willie. Can I ask a question? Which one? Hold on, stay there, Willie. Stay there. Oh. Stay there. Oh. Now, have you oh. read it? Oh. Up, up, up. Have, oh. you read any, oh. have you read any of this book, Louisa? Um, no, I had a flick through. Yeah, there's a, um, there's a ruler. Can I have a look? There's a ruler on how to how to measure it. Why is there a tiny little mark already? <laughs> can I tell you something? <laughs> Jack's been into it. Jack's been into it. There's already a little bit of a mark down there. I'm very happy with this. Why? Because you think yours is bigger? I've measured my penis before. You tell everyone. No. You have to tell everyone. Just know that I'm Say ha- it and we'll beep it. Not a chance. Tell us. I'm borderline, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I like a, a little wimpy. I'm a micro penis. Average, well, I, well I, down, you, borderline. Oh my god, and oh my god. So guys, the things are place ba- base of penis here goes up to micro penis prepubescent, a little skimpy, average, well endowed, born alone. Oh my god, and then oh my god, and up. Now, I, I'll give you that tip. I reckon when I'm exercising. I'm micro penis. Um, that oh, yeah. that that's <laughs> like, like two centimeters, dude. I reckon in the out of the cold plunge, micro penis. <laughs> You're below. Walk outside. You're you below it. the book. Yeah, <laughs> correct. The book should come down here for me. <laughs> I've got like it's like I've got two belly buttons. It's an innie. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a fleshy innie. Have you ever seen an acorn sitting on a beanbag? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what I look like. Uh, li- mate, this well, Willie. Yeah. What? No, what? you have a little reader. Oh, and, you know, I did have a look through. This, yeah, uh, you've, this you've folded mark. pages. Mate. I did have a look through because there was a um, there was a quiz. Should I do the quiz for you guys? Please do the quiz. Okay, it's a yes or no. Have you ever pinched your penis under the toilet seat? I, I have. Yeah, yeah, between the seat. <laughs> but that it was like that. I shouldn't have done that. No. Or when you sit down too fast and it's so right. the front of the It bowl. wasn't good because right. it was cold. Uh, do you buy oversized pants or underwear to accommodate your penis? Nah. <laughs> right. Okay. Just jam it in under the butt crack. Yeah, Can yeah. you touch the base of your spine with the tip of your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck yeah, over the is trying – yeah, correct, the well, other way. <laughs> this was written by Dr. Richard Jacob and Riv Owen Thomas. I reckon Dick Jacob's got a tiny penis. Yeah, I so do I, because I don't know about touching the base of your spine <laughs> with your cock. Who's ever done that? How, how was your one, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, good, mate. I was just, um, I don't know, I, I touched the base of my spine with my cock this morning. Who, who's the one who got his spine taken out? No, you got Marilyn ribs taken Manson. out. Marilyn Manson. And it's, that's a bull yarn as well. That oh, was, okay. Oh, I've got to stop touching the mic. Yeah, I was touching mine too. Yeah. Well, that's pre pre Europe presence, but remember last year when I came back from Europe and I got you that slingshot from Sardinia. Correct. And you called it Sardigna. I still dream about that. Sardigna. Well, that's how it's fucking spelled. It was one of my favourite moments. It's how it's Where's spelled. Sardin- Sardigna. Sardigna. Now, Willie, if you could give me some tips, because I've been trying to play mine like a flute lately, but it's not. I don't, do I have to put holes no, in the top of it? I'll I give you the that tip, as a baby. Gag. You give me the tip. I bought that as a gag. It didn't mean you guys needed to escalate <laughs> oh, with, 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 it, with any more, please. Yeah, Dane, Dane Gag Eye. No more, please. <laughs> Bilbo Gaggins. No more, please, boys. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Bilbo Thanks. Gaggins. Oh, yeah, that is very good. Yeah, thank you. That, that's very good. Gag Delph. That's not my best. No. Yeah. Mm. No, no more. Okay. We'll, we'll have a normal chat, please, Jack. Right. Yeah. Um, um, well, thank you, Lulu. Hey, that's so fine. Now, we're going to miss you a lot. Now, just know that. Now, Lulu. Thank you. Well, let me just, let me preface this and then I'd like you to go into it, I think. Okay. So, Lulu's going away. Yep. So, what we've done, Bedwetters, is, is we do pre-record a few episodes just to make up for Lulu's time away. Yep. We were going to have a few more in the bank. Yes. So, but yeah, we'd, we'd prepared to have another four in the bank, um, but sometimes life gets in the way. I won't go into too much details. Everything's Don't need to. all good now, but I um, had to fly to Melbourne um, just like a health sort of scare for Locke and so yeah it took it took away probably like five or six days of that we could record could record so apologies bedwetters there will be about four episodes without Lulu um so <laughs> tough, tough listening for you guys Thank without the big dog LDD here <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank but one thing that did work out well was that we had to head down to Melbourne anyway correct for the billboard for the big dog LDT and the little fella Jacob Edward Archdale. Very exciting stuff. And I'm glad, um, we're just very, all very glad here that Lockie is okay. Yes, yes. The sweet boy. Mwah, love you. And we, bedwetters, we've got contingency plans. I'm going to have some great yep. hosts that will surprise you. Yeah. Bit of fun. Yep. Um, have you, did you get Aristotle? Aristotle, his talent fee was exorbitant. Did he wanted 13 it? gold pieces and a goat. You paid and, it, didn't you? Pardon? You paid it. Of course you did. <laughs> I did pay it. I think Aristotle might be a, a swindler. He's taken the go and the 13 gold sovereigns oh. and hasn't um, stone tableted me back. Right. So did, did you get it's uh, fucked. Rumpelstiltskin? Not Wumpel, Rumpelstiltskin. I didn't get Wumpy. Right. Right? Wumpy was tied up. Yeah. Um, he'll be in Europe as well. Yeah. And I'm not just talking <laughs> tied up. I'm not just talking your sexual exploits. Um <laughs> 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 now, you know now, it. <laughs> now, now, correct. So, bedwetters, you'll be taken care yes. of. Potty will go on. Yes. Strong. Potty will go on. Potty will go on. And and I'll be back tanned and with plenty of stories, potentially the time that I nearly hopped on a train. Yeah, and I can't three wait. Three sausages and, and plenty plenty more fun things. Can't guys. wait for you your just, new Europe yarns. You, hey, you'll be excited for the presents. The, I will be. You will be. But we were very lucky, weren't we? Uh, 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 like, in all honesty, how unreal was yesterday? I don't know, man. Like, we went to the middle of Melbourne, Burke Street Mall, like, right by David Jones, where all the fancy shops are, like, fucking prime location, and there's a billboard of We Mean Well. It's one of those moments, Lulu, that, uh, like... We were obviously in great company as well with Tom and Eddie, the Hello yep. Sport Boys. They we had, had a, a great billboard up there the as boys. well. We were the, the billboard boys. We had a great lunch afterwards. And it was one of those moments, Lou, where the whole fucking day was just, I was just like giddy. I, I was know. so excited because I'm just like, look at that. I was saying to the boys. Look at us. Driving out because you were already down in Melbourne. Yeah. So we were driving out. I'm like, what about how we were just three fucking dipshits sitting in a house in Bathurst at uni fucking – Making up songs and being fucking idiots. And now yeah. we're all going down together. We've got billboards. I used to sell these fucking things. I didn't. Oh. I actually didn't sell the large ones. What? I sold the small format. So this is cooler because I'm on the big boys. I was yeah. only selling the small Little ones. baby ones. But it was a real 360 moment no, for me. it is wild. I was like, fucking, this is crazy. You, you sold them and now you're on them. Now we're on now them. Now all we need to do is get an ad on Breakfast Radio. Which we're definitely going to figure yeah. out, by the way. Oh, yeah. I know who we can ask, and you'll be seeing him very soon. Okay. Is he a little whippersnapper? Is he a little fella? Um, but, yeah, very fucking cool. So we travelled down. It was in Burke Street Mall in Melbourne, this big, large format fucking billboard. I'm yep. sure you've seen it on the bloody um, socials. So Instagram. And it was our fucking ugly mugs sitting atop there. Spotify reached out and asked us whether they we would be ha like we'd want to yeah. be on a bill. Well, I'm like, oh, no. fuck yeah! It was Wild. cool, wasn't it? It was. It was a fucking awesome day, and then we all we all travelled home together. Now you're a little bit of an anxious traveller, aren't you? D well, you, you left me, Bermo and Eddie at the bar to go to the gate when it wasn't the, the gate wasn't even ready, and then we arrived. You were hopping on the plane the same time as the three of us. Correct, but you. 
you can't run the gauntlet and I'm not about that life. We weren't even no, – I'm like a oh, – must get there, you know, just hey, in time. Hey, Lulu, you had a double techie. You were running the gauntlet. <laughs> you didn't know what – you three You three had a cup. You, this Bedwetters, this was a hard one not to drink at because it was such yeah. a monumental moment. <laughs> yeah. And these guys – we went to lunch afterwards. <laughs> these guys, no offence to Tom and Eddie. Fucking shit faced. <laughs> Hey, well, they got a fair few nice sticky sodas Didn't they from just, the menu. Hey. Didn't they just? On, the, On rocks. the rocks. The kids were drinking. Lulu kept it. You just farting in studio? Are you just farting in studio? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Tom Birmingham just. And then stood there like a naughty little kid. Oh, just Tom. Let rip. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. No wonder you guys got a billboard, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quality like that. Quality content like that. Oh. And then, but you guys ran the, so you're all there. It was like, go to gate now. We were leaving in 15 minutes. And I was like, well, I'm going to the gate. And they're like, chill out, relax. I'm like, no, I'm going to the fucking gate. These guys were like, I was driving them to the airport. They're like, we need to stop at the studio, drop off some keys. And I'm like, we need to get there. So you're, so say your flight is 8.30 in the morning. Are I'll be there like, at 6.30. You are Franco. You may as well stay the fucking night at the Hotel Ibis or whatever it is out there. Hey, if Steph uh, if Steph doth willing, then I doth would. I like to get there early because because you can get a flat tyre. What if your fucking engine blows up? How's me when I had to get to the airport to go and see Lockie? My flight was at 8.30. I yeah, yeah, yeah. literally got the phone call at like 7.30. I was in an Uber by 7.40 You booked TM. and were in an Uber in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Didn't even know what the fuck I threw in the suitcase. Was there at 10 past 8. Flight took off at 8.30. I just walked straight on the plane. You didn't forget what you showed me on the plane. I don't know you what were, you're talking about. You were cognizant enough to remember that, bad I don't boy. know what you're talking about, Jack. <laughs> that was very impressive from you, Lolo. Thank you. That was a t- literally... Got the call, 10 minutes, booked a flight, got an Uber on the way. Made the flight. Yeah. That's awesome. But I just don't like to run a risk because you get to the airport, mate, you can go for a wander. You sit Do down. Do what? Go look at the shops. Look at three shit cafes. Sit down, have a feed, have a coffee, have a couple of drinks. Get a donut. But you didn't get a donut yesterday. You got a Kansas slice, didn't you, kid? Yeah, you guys were all up me because I'm like, I'm going to go looking for donuts. They usually got a Krispy Kreme or something in an in in airport. And you guys are like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, you are an Let odd, me live, mate. You are an odd unit. I, t- I didn't realise this was odd, but I told Burmo this and he thought this was fucking special. And I even forget that I do this. It's just a ritual now on a flight. Mm. When the plane takes off, someone told me this thing. They're like, if the plane hasn't crashed within 30 seconds, then you're pretty sweet. Why the fuck would you tell me that when I fly out tomorrow? It's none of my business. No, Jack, that's cruel. No, but this, I think it's a bull yarn, but someone told me that and I, they're like, if it hasn't like done it in the 30 seconds, so this is what I'm telling you. So Wait, every time. Let me jump in. Yeah. Do you do something with your legs and I hands? Count. I count. I could notice you doing something weird and then you're making me nervous as we were taking off. No, I was just counting down from 30. So I was just in the plane and then I just go 30, 29, 28, 27. Well, now I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. That's what, yeah, it kind of ruined my life because now I do it every time. You've ruined my life. How do you feel now? I ruined your life well before True, this that thing. It was it about just this whole two and situation. a half years ago, exactly, <laughs> I think, my life was ruined. Yeah. Now, about that flight, Lulu, yeah. the flight coming back, can I raise something with you? And I want to see if you noticed it. Okay. <laughs> you know the absolute unit sitting next to you? Yeah. He raw dogged that flight. What do you mean? No headphones, no phone, no book, no magazine, no nothing. He just raw dogged it. He was there with his hands on his lap. Is, it, is this the thing you no, you didn't notice? This, this my thing was I, different. I was watching him. And I'm like, this motherfucker is raw dogging this flight. He just sat there like this. I saw him take a photo of the clouds. Yeah, though. he looked out there. He liked the photo. Fa- you know he took a photo because you and I were going, whoa, yeah. look at those clouds. Yeah, well, whoa. Wouldn't you love to walk on them? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to live on those clouds. And he took a, but he, but. Then the phone was back in the pocket and he just sat there with his hands on his knees and he just sort of sat there, raw dog in the flight. He's either got the clearest mind in the world or the or most the busiest, fucked mind in the, the world. Or the busiest, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was impressed. Even though it's only, what, an hour flight, hour and a half? What were you watching? Because you were giggling Joe Rogan and so I was watching Rogan and Harlan Williams and I was watching Theo Vaughn and yeah, um, Joey Theo. Diaz. I was watching The Accountant. 
That's a good film. Great movie. And I told you that I guessed the twist. And I you, knew you'd you, think you were some sort of no, fucking child No, but I took prodigy. my earpod out. She goes... I took, <laughs> no, I took my earpod out. Disclaimer, um, public service announcement. If you haven't seen The Accountant, skip past this. This is spoiler. a spoiler. It's from 2016. But it's one of the most obvious spoilers of all so time. So I pull my earpods out and I go, Jarch, mark my words, because you told me... You looked over to my phone. You're like, oh, I watched I just that watched four that days day. ago. Yeah. Fucking love movies like that. Yeah. Good action. But I go, mark my words, the other... But like baddie killing everyone is Ben Affleck's brother and you go no it's not and I put my earpods back in and then five minutes later I go I was fucking right and you know I giggled to myself because you said it like you were some sort of a um, an intellectual prodigy like you well, just discovered you just discovered the theory of relativity you go I bet you he's the brother and I went I didn't want to give it away so I go no, I don't think so. In my brain, I'm thinking she thinks she's some sort of a genius. I was like, it's one of the most obvious uh, plot uh, twists. Because I'm like, they keep cutting back to them as kids. And I'm like, well, where's the brother in this? And then there's this random other guy mm. with the same haircut as the kid. Huh. And I was like, oh, he's the brother. Fuck, it would have been annoying when because I finished the last <laughs> bit of it on the plane, but before that I was watching it with Lockie. Mm. And I just kept being like, oh, I bet that's going there. Ooh, and then that... He goes to me the other day, he goes, sometimes you just, you just yap. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you just yap. And Mate, sometimes I just, I zone out. We, we, when, when I saw my seat was 14C and I go, if you're fucking 14B, I'll be fuming. I'll tell the, I'll tell the pilot to fucking land this thing nose first. Can I and tell you? And Luke checks her thing and she just goes, 14B, kid. <laughs> Can I tell you what my thing was that I thought you noticed on the plane? What was it? So we'd just gone out for a really fancy lunch. Like we ate a fair amount, Rockpool, beautiful oh, in yeah. Melbourne. Anyway, we get on the plane and I'm like a child. So she's like, do you want anything? And I was like, can I please have two waters? And do you have um, a, peppermint, a tea. peppermint tea? And she was like, I'll bring it back for you. And I was like, yes, thanks. Cool. And she goes, do you want a butter chicken pie? And I go, no, thank you. And then you got a butter chicken pie. <laughs> It's like, oh no, did I give you the? Ear? No, I was like this on my phone watching the accountant, and you opening your pie, and I was like looking over, being like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, fuck, I really want one, you but I didn't want you to see me looking, and you go, you wanted one, yeah, you? yeah, so yeah. I was like, <laughs> I like didn't a child. That. <laughs> you know, I was secretly fuming at you as well, because I was like, just get the pie and give it to me, you fucking oh. idiot. Steph always does it. She's like, I don't want it. You should have like, nudged me. I know, but I was like, it's whatever. Oh. I wasn't that fuming. Yeah. Played it after the podcast, right. you know. I just thought, I did have the th think in my brain, like, then get it and I'll eat it. Fuck. I didn't think you'd want two pies. Yeah, two two butter chicken pies, of course I'd mm. want two butter, butter chicken, chicken pies. Butter chicken pies are very underrated. They're delicious. Oh, I would agree with you. I, I at the In Melbourne, the Pran Markets, best markets you've ever been to also, there was a pie shop. Some of the flavours were disgusting. There was like a salmon and cream cheese pie or something. Yeah. Is that the grossest fucking thing you've ever heard of? Not for me, kid. And then there was like, Lobster mac and cheese pie, like just like just keep it simp. Keep it pies don't need to be that fucking out there, mate. Favorites mince and cheese. This feels like the hot. I chips love cream chat. pies. This feels like the hot chips chat. Remember last week I said, "Give me a top five yeah, hot chips." Top three potatoes. What are your top three taters? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's called. Perfect. Well, go on. Tell me your top three pies. <laughs> what? Uh, my top. What three went pies. over my head? Nothing. No, I what went over my head? Blueberry pie. Um, oh, cream pies. What? Cream pies. A pie full of cream. There's no euphemism. This is simply... Oh, beep his name for me, please, Willie. <laughs> Used to bully me and tell me to go eat another cream pie. And right? I was like eight. Shivers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I still missed Still not head. getting it. Well, just tell me. A cream pie is when you leave a, f a fresh load of frothy ejaculate oh, I know what inside a cream of a woman. I know what a cream pie is. That, I got the gag. I said cream pie. Right. Why? Have, what have I missed? Well, it just seemed like you didn't understand what it was. But I yelled out cream pie. <laughs> you guys just want me to keep saying cream pie? No, I, I, I don't know what you're thinking that you're missing. You do. You know a cream pie. Just, uh, stop. Yeah, correct. Just please. Yeah. Just. I'm with you. We don't need to talk. I don't, don't, I don't need On to do the actions TV of a cream pie. Is Burmo's you know, two beautiful, beautiful cream pies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're the fuck. result. They're Just the results of it. cream pies. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> it's baked come all stop over again. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? Your mum's going to call you. No, your yeah. dad's going to call you and go, 
Your mum's a bit disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You? Your mother's not too happy, mate. Yeah. Then Why? I'll be on a flight and someone will go, hey, cream pie guy. <laughs> hey, Milo, you shouldn't have cream pied her then, pal. <laughs> oh, God. Lay off the cream pies, Dad. <laughs> No, 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 I'd like to no, form, no, I'd like no, to formally no, no, apologise no. to my parents. That's good. You can to do all that. the bedwetters out there, to any senorita uh, who was offended uh, by yep. our usage of the term cream pie. Uh, I'd like to retract none of it. Yep. But I would like to apologise for uh, infiltrating your ears with such nonsense and trash. Good. Thank you. As you should. Thank you. As you should, Jack. Now, when was your last pie? Very safe. Shall we speak about what we did this morning? <laughs> Can I come clean about something? What? So you know how I was supposed to pick you up. Did you not get this the trinket Tuesday? No, oh, I got the, your trinky. I know you forgot, Jack. Okay. You were in fucking Paddington at the gym. And I said, so let me paint a picture for you bedwetters. <laughs> I reckon I said to Jack yesterday, eight times, you'll pick me up at 7.30. We've got a porto. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I can say who we're I filming think so. with. Yeah. yeah. We've got a porto shoot at 8 a.m. in Coogee. On the dot. On the dot. And I go, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, kid, Rose Bay, 7.30. Hey, Jack, 7.30, 50 times yesterday. I even said when you dropped me home from the airport. You did. See you at 7.30 in the morning. Correct. See you here at 7.30. And so I text you at 7.28 and I said, hey, I'm ready. I'll come downstairs now. How far away are you? And you go, I'm, I'm just leaving the gym. And I go, sweet, the Rose Bay one, thinking you're at Anytime Fitness. I go, cool, he's probably five minutes late. Odd for him, but sure. Um, and then you go, no, I trained, at, um, I trained at the stadium. I'm leaving Paddington. At 7.30, you're leaving Paddington to come to Rose Bay to pick me up and then to drive to Coogee when it was already a 22-minute drive from my house to Coogee. And then to add that, so I go, I'll just drive myself. Do you want me to drive? Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm on my way. Like, it yeah, was traffic's fucked minute. me. <laughs> so let me tell you from my, yeah, tra can I tell you from my perspective? You've got to go get that test. I know. Promise. I when promise. I come back I from will. Europe, I want that done. I will get it done. <laughs> I will get it done. I'm sorry. So I'm there. And, I, and Max, our agent, was at the gym. Mm. And he goes, mate, all sorted for the shoot. I'm coming today. I said, yeah, <clears throat> beauty, I'm all good, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Max, he sees me. He said when we got to the shoot, he goes, yeah, I saw you um, ducking off with your mate Bazza to go get a coffee. So I go to get coffee because that's the funnest part of the, going to the gym in the morning. Mm -hmm. You do your gym and whatever, then you sit down, have a coffee, have a yarn. I'm drinking my coffee. Happy as Larry. I'm like, fuck, i still got half an hour. Leaving fucking 10 minutes, I'm good. Completely forgot I was supposed to pick you up. Get a text from you. <laughs> and the text was, just doing a wee, I'll be ready. I'll be ready soon. I'm, but I'll be ready to go soon. And I literally went like this, had a coffee, cappuccino, and I go, it's an odd bit of information to uh, <laughs> add to a text. And I go, okay. And then, Keep talking to Baz. I'm like, okay, she's done away. So I'm like, so mate, what are you on today? Blah, blah. And then you're like, should I meet you at Jesse's Bakery or should you be here? And I go, Baz, I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I go, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm like, I was fucking supposed to pick up Lou. And he's like, you, you'll be sweet. You'll be sweet. You'll get there. I look at it, 38 minute round trip. Yeah. So I'm going, yeah, doll, I'm coming. I'm running out of the gym. I'm running up to my car, sprinting up the hill. I'm going, yeah, sweet. And you go, should I just drive myself? And I go, actually, yeah, the traffic's pretty fucked. You, you better. And you I was know, driving there. I'm like, she's going to be so cranky at me when I get I literally, I go, I go, <laughs> I go, hey, Siri, t oh, little fucking play. I go, um, uh, like voice note locky or something. And I go, I'm driving myself to, um, to a port. And I go, I guarantee you, Josh forgot to pick me up. <laughs> Like, I, I did. knew it. I did. And it was just when you said, just doing a wee, but I'll be ready. I was like, weirdo. it's an odd thing to add. I didn't need that information. Because obviously I was supposed to be down there waiting for you. Yeah. That's that's my thing. I know if it's, if like, say we say 7.30. If you if you haven't texted me by between 7.28 and yeah. 7.33, I know you've forgotten. Something's up, yeah. Like, yeah. There's no, you, you're always on I'm time. I'm usually if five you've minutes early. Completely forgotten or yep. something's happened if you have not messaged me within the five minute time frame. Yeah, I'll be getting that test. I think, I think, I think we've discussed would, it. I, I think Steph's really, a bit fucking I think it, it would help the business relationship. I think I'd agree. I think that 
think I think it would probably help my personal relationship. I think it would also help your personal relationship. I went to the I went as I was telling you the other day, I was like, I'm gonna go do my first boxing session since the blue. Like mm. test my fucking um shoulder out. So I get my wraps ready, get the boxing gloves. I go downstairs and I had to uh, someone text me or call me or something. So I put my gloves and wraps up on top of the bins at home. And I was like, then I got caught up yarn to this person and then I just fucked off. I just left, right? And then, how and I didn't you, even end up doing the boxing. Do live? I didn't end up doing a boxing session. I got back because then I was running errands and doing other shit. I got back at about eight pm at night, like she was pitch black, and I just saw my boxing gloves and wraps sitting on the bins. I'm like, oh fuck, I was gonna go to a boxing class. I would hate. <laughs> I would hate to be in your. Bro- like I, sometimes I hate to be in my own brain. I hate to be in yours. Yeah, I like, don't think you're much better, but you are better. Definitely better. Definitely with, better. With the whole time I was in Melbourne, I before I jumped on that fucking last minute flight. I was like, oh my God, I've left the air fryer on because I cooked myself some little chicky tenders. Love that. And I was just wigging out the entire time that I'd burnt my entire building down. Yeah, when that's... I got home, everything was okay. That's a wig out. What did I get home to? My new purchase. I swear to God, this woman is becoming a cave troll. I took She's a f- refusing to... Le- she, if she doesn't need to leave her apartment, she fucking won't. But tell them what you bought. I bought a walking pad. It's like a treadmill but with no... um. No, like, things to, you know. Can't go, you can't run on the cunt. Oh, you just walk on just it. Just walk. Well, I thought, Jack, if I've got a spare 15 minutes, I don't feel like going for a hot girl lap outside. Hey, kid. I'll do it in my life. Hey, kid. I know how flat out you are. You've always got a spare 15. I don't. <laughs> Can I show you the photo I took for you and Willie? Not that one. <laughs> of me this morning? <laughs> you I guys- can imagine you sitting down and just yeah, doing just it like moving this. Her legs. Oh, I thought you guys might have a laugh at this. So that's me this morning. And I've got my LED light Jesus mask Christ. on. Jesus Christ. Fucking dead mouse. I've got my, my LED light mask on. The Jarch knockout shirt. And I've got my little, my little <laughs> stomper. Like a serial killer. Yeah. So I'm just stomping in my lounge. Send that to Willie so I can chuck that on the YouTube. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. My house dead. is very messy in the background because I'm packing for... Let me see. I'm going overseas, guys. <laughs> Who are you flying with? Um, Bonza. What? Bonza. Look, Pelican actually, Air. I, no, I retract that. It's none of our biz- business. It's none of our business you, at all. You've done the gag. And I'll never stop. Actually, let me check. There's nothing incriminating in the background of that video, that photo, Willie. Just a big womanizer. <laughs> <laughs> when I told Just one of those fists. <laughs> <laughs> when I told Locke that I bought the... Uh, stop. Sorry. When I told Locke that I bought the um, treadmill, he was just like, I don't know why I find it so funny. The thought of you just like flat walking it, it in your is, lounge. It is funny. But like, I could I put also, Seinfeld on and just stomp. Do you know what else is hilarious? What? Like, I, I cannot wait for the day where I walk up to pick you up from your apartment and we need to, and I just hear this. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's quite. And I walk in, you've just got this LED mask on. <laughs> it's quite quiet. <laughs> Quite it's quiet. 19 kegs and I lifted up the stairs on my own. Really? Good effort, mate. That's Fuck, that's pretty low. Five life. floors <coughs> all the way up. You're at the top of the building. Yeah. Penthouse. <laughs> nice. Um. But I, you know what's going to happen? Because I've, I've got a lot to do before I leave in the morning. Uh, and I've had to leave the rubbish in the outside, the big box of the treaty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably forget about it. Not the only then, big box in the building, is it? Yeah. <laughs> You're just smutty. Smutty little... Well, swap the M for an L and that's what you are. Jacob. (laughs) That's not true. And I retract that. Yes. What? Come on. No, I already gave you a kiss today. Well, come on, Willie. No, Willie, I gave you a nice book. (laughs) Yeah, you did. The big cock book. And I thank you for it. It's going to be a very, very good read. I expect it finished by the time I get back. The BCB. The big cock book. Yes. Yep. Well, once you finish reading it, we'll, we'll put it on the oh, we have trinket to. wall. We so, have you, to. did you get me a trinket? I got you a trinket. Oh, better, if it's not the one bed, I'm going to cry. Woo, woo, woo. Merch alert, merch alert, merch alert. Merch alert, Whoa, we've come into winter, and even if you're in summer, it doesn't matter because it's, it's universal. Well, guess what? You'll eventually go into fucking winter. Exactly. We got tracksuits, guys. We got blue. We mean well tracksuits with a little quarter zip. And then they got a white, a, a cream stripe. And then they say we mean well. And they're coming for you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you right there. They're a comfy, they're a comfy fit. They're good quality. You're wearing the pants right wearing now. Wearing the pants right now. They look bloody good. 
They'll keep you warm in the winter. They'll keep you fresh in the summer. Yeah, and and people will be looking at you going, who's that hot piece of meat? You'll be looking fly. Fly's yeah. a white guy. They're coming very, very, very soon. So keep your eyes and ears pitched. Correct. Yes. Yeah. That's what I said and I mean it. I reckon we'll go for peeled. Yeah. We'll keep them peeled, will yeah. we? So they're coming out. They'll be at wemeanwell.shop coming to you. They're, they're coming soon. We mean well. Dot shop. shop. We just did an Aporto shoot this morning, which was very fun, by the way. And I said to Jack, awesome team. I said to Jack, I said, please, 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 can you get me the wombat? There was a big stuffed wombat, and I'm obsessed with wombats at the moment. <coughs> Every time I see them on Instagram, it's like a little wombat shaking its bum on the other wombat. And I always send them to TDB, being like, me, me cuddling you, shaking my little bum. I got my eyes closed. No, no, hold on. Before we do that, what? before we do Trigger Tuesday, just on the thought of you shaking your ass. Well, Rumpy's had a discovery. <laughs> so Rumpy's discovered that when Lou tries to twerk or shake her ass, it's 96% shoulders. So well, her I, ass doesn't move. It's like a shoulder blade. I always go can up you please, to him. No, can we oh. please? Because I just... Because I always <laughs> go up to him and I go like this and I shake <laughs> my bum But you on don't. Him. But you don't. Okay. So well, show how us... How do I stand and shot Willie? So you do your best ass shaking impression. Do whatever you want. It's a lot of shoulder. <laughs> it's a fucking lot of shoulder. <laughs> it's a, it's all this. But then I go, I go watch, watch some stationery. He's like, Lou, you, watch you them can't. Stash, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> correct. Wumpy, I can wake it. Sorry, shake it. Okay, <laughs> okay, you can wake it. That's serpent. Uh, now, that. that Close I your asked eyes. for the wombat. Well, you've got can enough. Can I just say, I've got my eyes closed. You are so much like Franco. I'll say to Franco, I want this. And then he'll go, yeah, but I've got you this because it's better. I fucking asked for the wombat. I knew what I wanted. You've got enough stuffed toys as a fucking 30-year-old woman. I don't right? have a wombat here. There's a fucking Kevin behind you, bud. Yeah, now but listen, I don't have a wombat. Now, listen up. Listen up. I've got my hands out and my eyes closed. A wombat. What right. can we do with it? That's a bat that you smash your mates with when they've um, when they've been a wom <laughs> to punish them. Can I open my eyes? Uh, get the wombat out. He's not coming because of his missile. Okay, sorry. So this, so this, mate, and I, I and I actually have a special request that you need to agree to. Okay. This is for your Europe trip. Ooh. So I got you this because it's um it's easy to pack. Okay. But you need to wear these oh, no. at some point in your Euro trip and you need to include it in content or just get content and send it to me, please. With my Lightning McQueen Crocs. Have a great Europe trip. <laughs> They're floaties. They're penguin floaties. <laughs> oh, I'm taking these. Yeah. I'm getting Wumpy to take videos of me doing bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to do a pool. bomb in your penguin floaties. That, I saw them and they just I just started laughing at the thought of you in like some nice resort over in fucking thing like with in, those in my McQueen crop the Lightning correct. McQueen crop. Oi, can can you please do it? Get seriously? a video of you like walking up in your Crocs and your floaties on, and then like kicking your Crocs off and jumping into the pool. Like, and, and either Tor or Rumpy Rumpy won't be filming it from afar. Correct. So that like people yeah. think I'm being dead serious. Please. When you're a 30 year old woman wearing Lightning McC McQueen, McQueen Cross Crocs and penguin <laughs> themed floaties for your ass. Okay, I'll keep the I'll keep it in its packet. <laughs> yeah, and I'll take it out when I get. Please there. Please do. Thanks. That's Jack. a mandatory request. Okay, I, I think that'd pair well with one of the bucket hats as well. Oh, oh yes, yeah. and my bucky hat, guys. I I don't have all the room. I'd like to take some nice outfits. But a bucket hat, the Tempest One bucket hat. Shout out to Joshy Reynolds. What about the missing. fedora? Leave them here. Oh, I'm going to take one of those corgis. It feels like good luck. Oh, whoa. Threaten. It's a great dress, though. Yeah, you know what they say. bit, Willie. Great dress. Put TDD's face over that sweat patch. <laughs> I'm going to take that. It oh, feels dude, like good luck. You're hanging out with two of the patch kings. Yeah, oh, Willie. Yes. Got something that might interest you, buddy. You know how we're sweaty cunts? Oh, yeah. We get patches over all the hand. Yeah. Sweat patches on the arms. You do it as well, sometimes. No, I only have one armpit that sweats. Really? Yes, that one. Not willing to check. I respect it. Um, okay, there's two. <laughs> <laughs> so I got served this Instagram ad. I'm a sucker for an Instagram ad. Oh, I'm a marketer's dream. Yeah, daddy liked them. Mm. Just for clarification, yes. in this situation, I'm doing it. Right. 
this this there's this brand called Carpe or Carpe or some shit. I think Carpe, it is Carpe. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it so might it's be. not Carpe. Um, now he was a bloke like us. He was a he was a former sweaty cunt. So he's got these products. A swant. A swant. Mm. He was a swant, and he was like, "This is ruining my fucking life." He's created these products. You just it's like a roll on antiperspirant. You put it on and you don't sweat. You know you can get Botox under your armpits. But I'm not. I'm and not apparently do it that, gets. Am I? But there's nothing wrong with doing that. Yeah, but that's more admin. Do you know what I mean? Like it's me booking an appointment and getting Botox under my armpits. What, so I couldn't go there if, and not get some in my forehead. Well, what uh, happens if you ordered the car pay and you weren't home it, when it gets delivered to your house? Uh, and then oh, you've got to go to the post office. Oh, more admin. <laughs> and you, you don't have time. Yeah, I just can't swing it. Oh, Good point. Yeah. Well, let's hope this is a smooth transition. Like Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> this is like, because, dude, but let I'm keen to try it out, Willie. And I'll let you know how I go because fuck me, if I'm in a business meeting or in a fucking thing. Try it out for Try It Out Tuesday. Oh, well, we found something new. New segment alert. You segment, new segment. Alert. Woo, Try It Out Tuesday. Woo. I will. Try It Out Tuesday. Try It Out Tuesday. Yeah. Try It Out Tuesday. You gotta shut the fuck up, buddy. One more time. Try It Out Tuesday. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna test it out. See how it fares. I've heard, though, with those kinds of things, you'll just sweat elsewhere. Great. Do you know what just I like, sweat like in my guts. Yeah. Do you know what I got sent? Remember that time I got sent a butt plug and we didn't know who it was from? Yeah. Oh, it was from you, right. Um, <laughs> no, I got sent in the mail. Um, this. It, I opened it and I go, what the fuck is this? And it was a, a, a <laughs> I can't even explain. Something you, you stick it on your undies and it gets rid of your camel toe. <laughs> And I was like, what? And so, yeah, like when you're working out. Like a out, pad. Yeah, like when you're working out in your Lululemons. Yeah. And you stick that on, it gets rid of your cam. It's called a muff buffer. Gorgie on blur. Gorgie on blur for your muff. Do you a remember muff that buffer. on your fucking A muff buffer. Oh, you got the muff buffer? I only got the crack cover. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. That is fucking good, I'll dude. bring one. We'll put it on the set. Well, look, <laughs> you know, they're pro. yeah. They'd be useful for some people. Yeah, mate, because I don't know if you'd know, but you go to the gym sometimes and- It depends what kind of tights you've got. It's like you're in the got. fucking Simpson desert. No, they're, they're, some tights give you bad cam toe. <laughs> um, yep, cam toe. Some, some, like, I find my Lululemons are fine. Good. No cam toe. Good to know. So if we could just uh, <laughs> maybe stop talking about your camel toe for 20 seconds. <laughs> That'd be ideal. Well, I'm just talking about mine. Well, you were. Everyone's camel You said the toe. Lululemons and beat your camel toe. Right. Sorry. Um, uh, Willie, I know I'm going away and I probably won't be able to listen to these, but if possible, you could cut the chat about the cam toe. It would be great. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we keep this shit in, kid. Right. W Willie, Muff Buffer has to be one of the greatest yeah, names. Yeah, very good, And Willie. a tremendously missed opportunity if that's not what it's called. A yeah. <laughs> Next merch drop. <laughs> Next merch drop. Yeah. Let's make muff buffers. Yeah. No. Let's not. Okey doke. <laughs> Probably wise. <laughs> right. We've come back. Jarch has lost his red light, green lights. You just, just sit back and listen. Okay. It's okay. You'll figure it out. Sorry. It's okay. Guys. No, I, you're I reckon okay. I'm not gonna. I'll knock off. It's okay. I'm used to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to. I'm used to this, Jack. We've, um, we've like swap positions. What? You used to be like the hopeless cunt, always fucking late, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And now it's just, we've just merged. Well, I would say my only bad trait was that I was being late. You're only. I've always been very well prepped in terms of segments and content and whatnot. I would absolutely 100% agree with that. Well, you, I but mean, it, it would be probably for previous sort of jobs and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, did you work before this? I, if I did have a job. Right. It was quite early in the morning. Right. What industry? Media. Right. Yeah. Any specific media. You heard of Fitzy and Whipple? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a breakfast radio producer. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking got him. Whoa. That holy little cunt shit. has yeah, been flying around. Fl was it a fly or a mosquito? Yeah. Oh. 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 That's it. That tastes Why sour. the fuck did you eat that? It tastes sour. You are a grub. I didn't eat it. 
Okay, red light, green light. You're very clever, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Oh, stop touching the mic. Red, Fuck. Red light, green light. Re-listening to, re-listening to your own voice memos. No. Green. Red. Okay. <laughs> it's shock fucking horror. Well, it depends. Oh. If it's like a two minute. No, actually, green. Always. What do you mean? Like, say I sent a voice memo to you being like, oi, this idea or this happened or whatever. I would like to listen back. But you've just said it. <laughs> but I'd like to hear my inflection. Perhaps I missed a p- key point. Right, right. I, I'm probably... R- You're not much of a voice meme guy. Not a big voice... Do you know one of the only people I voice memo? Is me. No, oh. Lucy Kate Jackson. Oh, you voice me. Lucy and Nikki. She has send good voice memos. She memes. does send good voice memos. And I also, I just, when, if I want to get an idea to her, I'm just like, I feel better. It's just like, here's the fucking idea. Yes. You know what I mean? Rather than trying to text it. Text it. But I don't know about listening back to it. I mean, I've just fucking said it. So it's just time wasting. Are you listening like this? <laughs> Louisa. You're bloody brilliant. I'm going. <laughs> no, it's more, oh, it's more I'd like. I crack myself up. It's more like this. <laughs> You are the modern day Aristotle. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Aristotle didn't have learning disabilities. Why are you crossing your arms? <laughs> That's a cracky face. <laughs> I'm going away for three weeks. Correct. You should be nice to me because you're going to miss me, aren't you? Sorry. Now come on. Yeah, quick as. Oh. Will you too? <laughs> Bermo, come on. Good kiss. Tobler. Yeah, he's there. Tobler. All right, so you, I'm red, you're kids. green. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. Um, red light, green light. Poking your partner's bum when walking up the stairs. Doot? Up into the doot no, hole? just like a... Pink. Yeah, up into the doot hole. Well, you could just... You're aiming bu- You're aiming for the rusty sheriff's you, badge. Uh, uh, I'm more of just a, a, a cheek girl. No, you're not. You're going straight for that balloon I'm hole. not. I'm a cheek girl. So you're working the angle, not the centre. Well, it depends where the finger goes. You're going for the centre. Don't lie to us. Because I there's lo- no point in getting the cheek. There's no, no fun I in just that. like go, boom. I mean, you're don't. shooting for a chalk top or nothing. No, but they, uh, he's, he's got pants on. <laughs> chalk top or nothing. You've ruined the movies for me you, now, you wanna, you? You've wanna... ruined the movies for me. Tonight I was planning on having a lovely night and going to the movies, getting a popcorn and a chalk top. I don't want to go ruined. anymore. It's ruined. I don't go I've anymore, always do maintained, I've always said this, Lou, and this has been a very strong... No, I, it's it's no an, more crude. It's not crude. It's an old adage of mine. I do that a lot. I always do that. If my finger doesn't come, in, come out looking like I've just dipped it into Nutella... Jack, shut the fuck into a tub up. Of Nutella, I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. All right? You, I wanna, both of you have been a bit disgusting this podcast. No, nah, tell her, Will. No, nah, tell her. No, we haven't. <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> Woo! No stopping us. We're back up in this bitch. Whoa! Now apologise. <laughs> I'm so aroused right now. Jack, I, look. Seriously, body calm gets me going, kid. Down. But yeah, I'm a full grain. It's fun. I, I like I like to just go mm, lock it. Don't. One pig goes. Just leave my whittle. Wump out of it. Can I tell you? <laughs> can I tell you a fun game? <laughs> yeah. Get one to do this next time. Okay. I'll do it's, it in Europe. It's fun for you. Okay. So if you're walking up the stairs. He does it to me. Yes. And he likes to pinch as well. I, but I, God, you gotta get, you got to get ready. Yeah. So when you go up the stairs next, get him to put his whole arm through and go like that. And you basically like sit on his arm and then you walk up the stairs as he's lifting you and it feels like you're floating up the <laughs> stairs. Just get him to try it, dude. It feels like going up the stairs is so easy. Well, so I, I, I'm, you just I'm like, go, oh, it's like my... um. It's like my Nimbus 2000. Correct. His arm is my Nimbus like a, 2000. Like a, like a broom. Yeah. The then, Nimbus 2000. you still got to be t- touching the steps, but it just, it feels like, you'll feel That's like you're cool. weightless. Okay. Try that. Goals. <laughs> I'm sorry, i got to touch the mic again. Ooh, flow app, update. Flap, yep. Just said up and down in your moods today. Well, we've seen it. We haven't. You, you screamed at the crew at the, the Porto shoot. You said, These no, chips are cold. You said, no one's brought me my Fucking latte. And then the girl came with the latte and you went, <laughs> you spat in her face. head butted you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I picked up the corn and went, you bomb. Yeah. But bomb. She's you know, what I was going for. Yeah, it's what you were going for. Um, red light, green light, steering wheel covers. Green. 
red. Why? They're fucking criminal, mate. Why, mate? Have you seen the like fluffy ones or like the Hello Kitty that. ones? Yeah, no, I got an Aaron Williams one. On your tig, you are. No, I had it in my ute, but I've got it. No, you didn't have a ute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You've never mentioned how you want to get rid of the Tiguan and get a U no, again. No. <gasps> oh. yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, I'm sick of it. Oh. Fucking will not stop beeping, still beeping. Oh, every and you day. Do, every time I'm in the, this is my favourite thing, well, not my favourite thing, but one thing that I love about you is I know when Jack's really angry because it's actually silence and it makes it even funnier for me in my head, <laughs> but you'll never know when he's grumpy, he'll be silent, we'll be driving along and then the car will beep and he'll just fucking whack it from behind. Like, you fucking stupid cunt! I hit the steering wheel so hard yeah. that the, the windscreen wipers come on. Yeah, and then I just Because it has to rewire, it's wiring I, in the steering wheel, so it, it rewires I sit there like this pretending like I haven't even noticed. I'm I like, know. <laughs> 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 but in my no, head I'm going. <laughs> but please also know I do that when I'm in a good mood too. It's just what i got to do to stop the beat. I know, but there's a distinction between the When I'm in a bad mood, yeah, yeah. it's more because it fucks yeah. me off way quicker. Yeah, but, back but no, to I think st- they're good. No, they're so ugly. You get a better grip on it. I don't need a better grip. I'm like Michael Schumacher with Daniel Ricciardo. You grippy? I'm just a good driver. I, I'm actually... Dead set, really good at parallel parking now. <sighs> no, 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 Jack. I What's a parallel park? A reversed in park. But which way? Well, you can only go to the left. But no, no, no. But hold on. Like, what does the car look like at the end? <clears throat> My car, normal. <laughs> like, what position is the car in when you finished a, a parallel park? In the park. What position is your car in? Straight. What do you mean? Straight in the park. So do you mean like the side of the car is to the gutter? Yeah. Like your left door is on the gutter side? Yes. It's not a parallel park. What do you mean? Parallel park is when you're parallel to the curb. You've lost me. (laughs) (laughs) Because you said it. And I'm thinking, I don't think you know what a parallel park is. The The one you go like that? No, that's not a parallel park. What the fuck is it then? A parallel, that's just a fucking park. You're parking by the gutter. No, a park would be driving into it or reversing into a normal one. That's a parallel park. That is not a parallel. A parallel park is when you're parallel to the curb. That's what I mean. What? When you're straight. I'm right, aren't I, Eddie? When you swing in. That's not a parallel park. You, yes. Isn't a parallel park when Apologize. you're parallel? Yeah, thank you. How long have you been driving for? Nice. How long have you been driving for? I hold my hands you fucking up idiot. in defeat. Yeah. Well, what? Say three nice things about me because you were acting park? like I was an idiot. A reverse park. Say three nice things because you were acting like I was an idiot. Proper nice things. Nothing like you're wearing a dress or I'm you've an, got a hair I'm an idiot. And, yep. and I, I apologise to you profusely. And I didn't know what parallel was. So I thought parallel was like that. Yeah, and like you've been par- driving two parallel for what? lines. 30, you've been driving Parallel. for four. I'm still confused. You've been driving for 20 years. Gotcha. You've been Understand. driving for 20 years? Yeah. And you didn't know that? I'm good at the action, not the knowledge behind it. Still after the now, three nice things. Now, you. Bear in mind, I'm going away for three weeks. You look very fresh and ready to go on your adventure in Europe. One. <clears throat> You're tr- you, I'm going to say that your wittiness in the last two months has increased exponentially, making for a better listen overall in the podcast. Right. I think that slightly you're backhanded because that means the other ones were shit. But no, 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 no. I'll allow. No, no, no. no I just no, think no, no, as okay. a podcast, I think argue. we're improving. Right. And I think that's due to your. Not newfound wit, but right, an increased... So you're saying that you didn't need to improve anything, okay? Yeah, I could say prepping, maybe remembering to pick me up in no, the no. mornings. Louisa, um, sorry, you're reading ca- this all ca- wrong. I'm sorry, just saying you're no, getting better at your those job. Those are just thoughts in my head. I'm just saying you're getting better at right. your job. You're improving. I might be not improving. Correct. I might be getting worse. Correct. Right? Yep. You are improving. Thank you so much. And I've noticed it. Thank you're you. zippier. You're quicker. And... <clears throat> Make it a good one. Well... Oh, you're a good kisser. <laughs> Thank you. And well, Willie can back that up. The only people who would know that would be you two yep. and one piece. And all the other boys in the studio. And everyone else. Yeah, Eddie knows that. Up. No boys. Up, up, up. up. 
Remember when I said, hi, boys? Hi, boys. <laughs> um, Lola, I'm so sorry about that. That is my it's own okay. stupidity. I'm used to it. What? I'm used to you being stupid. Jesus Christ. Um, we'll do one touching more. Touching the fucking microphone. One more. I'm going to scroll because I've got so many here because I prep so much. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go back a bit and find some old ones. Reverse dun, park parallel. Fuck it. Dun, 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 dun. Red light, green light. Mm. Leaving your washing on the line for a week. In, <sighs> inside. Bro, fucking green. Green as fuck. I'm not kidding you, Judge, because my, my apartment block has a shared... Um, laundry downstairs So you have your own sh- Washing machine And dryer mm. And then you I sometimes put my Some washing down there And then some up in my Apartment Yep The one in the Shared Laundry space Has been sitting on that line I'd like to say 13 days That's sickening Yep That's fucking sickening yep. If it's a shared space You're a You're a, you're a sicko but everyone else Leaves theirs out You're all sickos I had to go away unexpectedly. I had to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even realise I did it. No. Well, I, I had, had to go, go away, away unexpectedly. Um, so take away six days of that. We'll call it a week that sitting there. Still sickening. Right. In a shared space. Or in, in your own space, fucking full grain. I'll have it on the in, in the fucking on the clothes um horse. Mm. I'll just wheel that fucker into another room and close the door. Yeah. The th- it probably yeah. takes longer than just to take the I clothes know, off. But then you got to fold it, put it in the right drawer. Out of it. sight, out of mind. You know, and and you don't have a Jeeves, so that's got to be tough. For I you. don't have a butler. Yeah. Can I borrow that fucking? Nope. Thing? Nah, fair. He's coming to Europe with me. Is he? Yeah. Smart. I and an all says no. Serious. I will have to give you my keys. Yeah, that's fine. You can oh. use the sauna close to my house if you'd like. That's yeah. Where is it? It's in Rose Bay. The sauna. Yeah. How close? Pretty close proximity to mine. Like, what are we talking? Like, directly below? Do you have a garage at your house? 20 metres nice. away. Yeah. Oh, that's a good spot. Commercial venue, is it? Yeah. Nice. Um, I think they're getting an ice bath. Oh, they're getting an ice bath as well, that commercial venue just below your apartment. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Yeah. You're moving up in the world, that commercial venue, isn't it? Hey? You want to put some shares into it, kid? <laughs> Ah, fuck it. I'll just let the commercial venue spend all the money and I'll use it for free. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, put your headphones on. Oh, we're doing hotline. Yeah. Just quickly before the hotline, I will, will we get sorted. Jill's posted for us about the billboard. Has she? <laughs> on Facebook. She's put, lots of hard work and humour taking Louisa and Jarch bracket we mean well podcast to new heights with spotify in melbourne congratulations louisa delden and jarchi bracket jack archdale <laughs> the growth of we mean well <laughs> fo- for followers show there's a real need for having a good no nonsense laugh Who is that? my mom jill yeah i know that's actually that is adorable, that is adorable mate She's so, yeah, the best part is is when the friends that start to comment on it. You know, like the friends will go, wow, how incredible from Louisa in bracket, Jack Arch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack. 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 <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I also woke up this morning, check my phone, bam, two notifications, your mum, bam, likes my Instagram, likes my story, likes the other story. Janelle doesn't miss a beat, I mate. might add her to my close friends. She doesn't miss a beat. Oh, maybe not. I wouldn't. Not, not before Europe. I don't think so, darling. <laughs> she calls you and she goes, I'm slightly concerned about Louisa. <laughs> yeah, I'd keep her off the closest of all you. Farmer Boy 69 in there? He can get a little, he can get a, give him a run. Give Farmer Boy 69 a run. <laughs> Fucking, what's he at now? He, I, I, lock in, I looked. 3,600 or something. F- oh, fuck. Sorry, Clarkson's can, Farm. Sorry, guys. Clarks, we, sorry, guys. Clarkson's Farm follows me. Yeah, we knew that. Can sorry we please? That, Clarkson's Farm follows me. Sorry about that. Judge, can we get, well, you've told us this. I'm can so we get sorry. your dad a, like, imagine like a, a brand deal? You could you could micro influence with three thousand six hundred. Well, do you know is that what it's called? Yeah, please imagine him with like. I micro influence Steph a lot. <laughs> imagine him with some like, some like kombucha Milo. or something. Milo. Milo. Oh, Milo, if you're listening, we got an influencer for you. His name Milo. Milo, if if you want the, some of the greatest content of all time, I'll oversee the content. Yeah, you can be his momager. I'll be his momager. Call me. Call me Chris Jenner. Yeah. Call me Judge Jenner. Okay. Call you 
Juris. Chris. Yeah. Judge. Juris. I'm happy with it. Thanks. If we could get a brand deal from White, because you know I call him Hollywood. Mm, yeah. The only fucking videos are the only good of the fucking ones I'm in. He's right, though. I would disagree wholeheartedly, he, no, he's, but he's also right because they do go good. He's very right. You know, he got recognised for the first time the other day. You he, told me that. In your Allah. She goes, so sorry, are you? You judge us, Dad. Love that. I'm like, that. the fuck in this gun. I love head. that. <laughs> yeah, that fuckwit. Yeah, no, I'm that fuckwit's father. <laughs> um, he's up to 3,476 followers. Farmerboy69, go. go and follow him if you don't. Let's make my old man a Famous. micro influencer. Let's get him a brand deal. Yep, keen. Now, hit us with the hotline, please, Willie. Clarkson's farm follows me. Yeah, we G'day, cunt. This fucking big rig here. Full time <laughs> fuckwit. Um, I'd just like to give a shout out to Cartoon Network for completely and utterly fucking my taste in women. Why the fuck do I like girls that are as pale as fucking concrete? What the fuck? Anyway, bye. Who do you reckon his love was on Cartoon Network? Betty Boop, wasn't she? Oh, Betty one? Boop. What did he say? It's fucked his taste in women because he grew up watching Cartoon Network like the likes of oh, Betty Boop. Oh, yes. And now he likes really pasty people. Not unlike our friend Willie over there who looks like a, uh, a rice paper roll. I got sunburnt in the rain once. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Willie takes his shirt off and you can see all his ingredients. Oh, my God. He's translucent. <laughs> you look like that albino cunt out of the Da Vinci Code that whips himself. Oh, <laughs> You should see me in shallow water, dude. I look like a John Doe. <laughs> a bloated corpse. Except a jacked one. Oh, Because the kid's in Nick. I think you look great all the time. He looks fucking great. He just looks like a human rice paper roll. Well, you're quite similar. <laughs> just look like I've been deceased for a couple of days. <laughs> you're just a corpse. Whoa, that dress has ridden up high. You look like a deceased salad sauce. <laughs> yeah, we're happy with it. Drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Drop dead sources. All right. Oh, you fucking dog raiders. <laughs> oh, poor Jarchi. He lost last night. Oh, oh, anyway, good game, mate. Good game. Good one. Fucking quick yarn for you while I'm hung over from last night after I won. You ever heard of the fucking, fucking phantom bed shitter or... I should say, uh, fridge, fridge shitter. Fucking made of mine. Dad fucking ended up sleepwalking and uh, took no. a shit in the fridge. No. So, uh, how about that one? Get that up, yeah. Fucking, anyway, love you, cunts. Love keep you around, keep curl. Keep it in your pants and don't be a fucking turl. <laughs> oh, Jack. Good, good call. I'd throw the fridge. You'd, You'd have to. I don't give a fuck. You'd have to throw the fridge. Yeah. You can't have you broccolini sitting on old shit. <laughs> like, if you had corn in the fridge, it'd literally just look like a normal shit. Oh. <laughs> corn. Yeah. Corn. No, you can reuse it. Where it Louisa, comes out. you were making corn shit jokes at no, the airport. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, so don't get on your little eye I horse. don't know what you're talking about, Jack. <laughs> so, imagine shitting oh. in the fridge. How do you get in there? He must have put his bum in, like, Poked it out. Imagine the fridge was ice cold. Someone mistook it for an ice block. <laughs> Jockey ice block. <laughs> Next one, please, Willie. I'm almost done with this, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Get out of here. My old boy, you might. Hey, hey, man, you know, good early age. Just to be having a cuppa and a bicky. And uh, we're, just, we're just pondering. Yeah, we're just wondering, buddy, how the fuck did you get to death? Buddy, it's a mystery. It's one of the greatest mysteries around. I, I, you know, Lord, you're just a regular Donny Bradman. You know, you're batting well above the average, eh? Bloody, no, it's uh, on you, mate. No, uh, we always thought you are going to butt end up with Dozer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, anyway, <laughs> oi, tell that little boy in the studio that that brown or uh, the kind of a thing. <laughs> Fucking good chewing, mate. Right, eh? Keep your cheeks together. All right. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> well, I was thought you bloody end up in fucking with fucking Dozer. Yeah, yeah. Buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. that was a good one. Tell that, that was little good. boy in the studio. I think, I believe, was that referring to me? 
right, 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 right. Uh, not a bad impression, mate. And to answer your question, um, you know, I don't oh. know. Steph, honestly, Steph has tr- horrific eyesight. I'm baking on that. Really bad. You're not that ugly. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking about backhanded compliments. <laughs> no, Jack, you're not that ugly. Like you're not that. Look, you you are a pile of dog shit. But you're not. But that. like, but like fresh shit. You know. Yeah. You're still warm to the tongue. You're fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like you're an ath- you you're like a perfectly placed um, dollop of shit. Yeah. Like one you buy from the two dollar shop. Correct. Yeah. Like those fake shits. Yeah, they're perfect. It's you're still shit. But it's perfect. But you're, you're arranged nicely. Nice. No. Nothing yeah. a paper bag and a vigorous imagination can't fix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Right, really. I've been told that before. All right, give us uh, another hotline. Nope. All right. Episode 156, you pair of fuckwits. Well, I need to say something. We need to try some different genres. Give metal a go. Lou, I think it'll be a fucking metal. hoot. Bye. Oh. Great. Actually, the call quality just before we get into it, tremendous. Fuck off. That was good. 45 seconds, yes, you were under. That was, you were literally underwater in a scuba diving costume. I liked it because they're on the go. Don't be doing that again. I, enjoy I won't that. allow it. I'll literally yell, go grab Willie's machine that plays oh. them and yank it out. Jesus, stuff about yanking Willie's. <laughs> now, I think he wants you to try metal for the next song. Heavy metal. Yeah. Raw, raw, raw. Well, you know where that'll be? The Patreon. No, we've got to do it for the bed with us, kid. Okay, well, we've got to do it now, and then we've got to jump on the pad. Oh, okay. Because otherwise oh. we've got to do it when I get back. Do you know any metal songs? Oop. I reckon we do it when you get back. Okay. Because we're, we're going to do Creed in the Patreon. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. To find a metal song. And I'll oh, Actually, I'll send you one. I like metal. I like metal. Slipknot. There's a couple of Slipknot ones. Slipknot. Maybe some Corn. Twisted Transistor by Corn. That could be good. I'd love Corn on the Cob right now. Um, we'll jump on the Patreon. That's probably a good time for us to duck off here. Um, now, as they say, what was that phrase you wanted to tell everyone before we hopped on the Patreon? The phrase was, if you don't understand the concept of parallel, yeah. don't rinse your co-host for not understanding the concept of parallel when she did and you didn't. Oh, God, you're good. Clap for Jack. Just Thank a half you. clap, Willie, not too much. Just a half. Thank you. See you guys on the Patreon where um, it's... Uh, ugh. You know, can't believe don't, what don't, we've got. don't. I can't believe it. Is, is it? Barack, shut, shut is the it fuck. Barack Obama. Shut up. Sorry, sh- okay. See love you, you on bad the Patreon. Hooroo crew, we love the lot of you. Keep pissing, oh, bad for life. See you guys when I'm back from Europe. I love you all so much and I'll bring some presents. Oh, I'll bring some presents for the bed and we'll ship them out to a lucky listener. Smart. <gasps> yes. Smart. I like that. Hooroo. Bye. Clap for Lou.